Hello everybody, my name is Sarx and I'll be your narrator for today. We're going back to the old format because it's easier, okay? Today, we are going to be reading level 11 of the Backrooms, also known as the Endless City. Survival difficulty, class 1. Safe, secure, minimal entity count. Level 11 is the 12th level of the Backrooms. This level presumably is an infinite city. Description. Level 11 is a presumably infinite city, populated with buildings, stores, and skyscrapers. This level includes buildings that can be found in a typical city in the front rooms. The interior of these buildings are randomized in structure and furniture. Some buildings are empty, whilst others are fully furnished. Certain buildings are accessible, whilst others are not. The interior of the buildings are strange and anomalous, as one can find stairways leading to nowhere, doors located on the sides of buildings, etc. The shops, while mainly derelict, occasionally contain useful items. Gravity does not seem to affect these buildings. Some buildings have been reported to be strangely placed on top of one another, floating, or even clipping inside each other, which is strictly impossible. This level has no daylight cycle and is stuck in daytime, although some levels show level 11 at night. For example, Level 92. The concrete sidewalks are mostly normal, but the sidewalks can rarely lead to a dead end or clip through buildings. Some walkways can lead up towards the sky like a ramp. The asphalt roads at level 11 are warm and dry, the opposite of level 9. The roads are painted similar to casual roads with yellow lines. The street lamps are anomalous, as some lamps are on, some are off. That's not what you call anomalous, by the way. Almond water is a common item in level 11, ranging from water fountains, commercial freezers, soda vending machines, and more. There is a strange event that can occur where a random model of a car would roll down the streets until it eventually stops rolling. These vehicles are inactive and do not work. The cars are usually empty, although there have been reports of facelings either by themselves or up to groups of four inside the vehicles after the event had taken place. Level 11 has large nuclear power plants that are usually separated about 800 kilometers from each other. Studies of the power plants show that they are inactive, yet still emit dangerous levels of radiation. So much so that drones fly over, flying over the area for surveillance deactivate from the emission. We advise wanderers to keep away from those structures until further studies continue. MEG Team Secure Security, very creative name, are stationed close to the power plant at the center of level 11, to where no harm can take effect. Any reports of wanderers that pass the guards will be taken to base beta for aid and inception. Level 11 has many city landmarks from all over the front rooms. These landmarks can be recognized as structures from New York, Chicago, Los Angeles, St. Louis, Toronto, Thank you for concluding a Canadian city in there, and more. These structures have the same properties as the rest of the buildings in level 11 mentioned previously. Wi-Fi in level 11 does, in fact, exist and is active. The names of these connections are very random, with no corresponding pattern, which includes K T U C F J. E two O W Q one Y X Z 
K, A, Y, R, and others. Facelings and Hounds are the only frequent spawning entities in level 11, and seem to have a strange effect called the level 11 effect, which makes the entity's behavior change to make them act as normal pedestrians and dogs. This effect will cause the entities to interact with the wanderers in an effort of communication. Other entities include death moths, crawlers, and smilers, which are almost impossible to find. The entities from level 9, which include the Neighborhood Watch, the Overseer, and the Mangled, have been reported in level 11, but they most likely wandered into this level from level 9. Some special entities that reside in level 11 are Argos, that resides in the headquarters, and the human entity Ralph, located in the building labeled Radio Backrooms Studio in level 11. Bases, communities, and outposts. There are too many groups to count for this document, but we have composed a list of the most important groups living in level 11, which includes MEG, aka Major Explorer Group, Base Beta. This is the fourth main base of the MEG. This base is fairly new and is still being organized. Different MEG teams get transferred around from time to time. MEG Team, Security Team, again, very creative name, is assigned to stay in level 11 while construction is ongoing. The Eye of Argos. This is the main base of the Eye of Argos. It is a building known as the Headquarters. It's a safe place to stay or even trade unless you have sinned. Camp Amber, level 11 outpost, is the second base from Camp Amber, which originally resides resided on level 1. This group usually helps newcomers and teachers and teaches them about the backrooms. This group is an outpost and doesn't have a fixed point, as they wander around to help others. This group is aided by the local MEG, Base Beta, to further help wanderers. Insurrection Station 7. Presumed to have a population upwards of 800, seemingly self-sufficient but open to trade. Entry is spared to anyone aligned with the MEG. Area surrounding the station is heavily patrolled by armed guards. Drone surveillance squad. I think you get the point. Discovery. This level was discovered when a bunch of people wandered into level 11 while following the signs in level 9. A bunch of reports had made their way to the MEG during 2016, including video evidence of three wanderers using a drone to record footage of level 11. The MEG had sent Regiment Compass Point the Misfits to investigate. After its discovery, it was made into an entry point, and mapped out by Regiment Track Mapper's Bloodhounds. Once this was completed, we started helping wanderers that were stuck in level 11 before discovery. People from different levels started to move to this level, and now call level 11 their home. The MEG do their best to keep wanderers safe in level 11 and others. Entrances and Exits Entrances the most common way to enter is through level 9, where you must follow the signs for around 100 to 200 miles. When doing so, the environment starts to slowly change, and you must be purposely following the signs to enter level 11. You can also enter by traveling in the metro. In level 11.1, you can enter level 11 by walking towards the city in the distance. Looking up in the sky at the top layer of level 17 for too long will bring you to level 11. Entering an orange arcade cabinet in level 25 will lead to this level. Level 11 can also be entered via level 36.1. Walking outside the train in level 61, while stationary, will lead to level 11. Finding a long road in level 66 
will lead you to level 11. Finding a tunnel in level 69 will lead to level 11. Finding an airlock in level 78 will lead to level 11. It is possible to enter this level from level 87 via multiple doors. Entering a trash can on level 122 can lead to this level. Other levels with doors to level 11 include level 88, level 34, level 40, level 95, level 113, level 119, and level 92. Exits. Some buildings can lead to level 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 196. Certain windows in level 11 can lead you to level 12. Entering a certain apartment building in level 11 will lead you to level 13. If you find a conservatory building in level 11 and enter it, you will be transported to level 30. Finding a plushie of an entity in level 11 and then finding a carnival will bring you to level 32. Finding a mall in level 11 will bring you to level 33. Entering a sewer grate can lead to level 34. You can find an airport between level 11 and level 9. Enter it to be transported to level 36. Finding a large park at level 11 and rolling around in the grass for a few hours will bring you to level 37. A small building with the sign reading sewage will bring you to level 41. Entering a taxi car will have a chance to bring you to level 43. Finding a small blue building and entering the igloo inside the building will lead to level 47. Finding a brown bricked building saying M. David High School and level 11 will bring you to level 52. Finding an alleyway in level 11 has a chance to bring you to level 55. Going down a subway will lead to level 59. If you enter any laundromat building, you will be transported to level 60. Finding a mansion in level 11 will bring you to level 82. Finding a cylinder shaped building in level 11 will lead you to level 86. Finding an old TV in either good or bad condition and no clipping through it will lead you to level 104 or level 131 depending on the condition of the television. Finding a strange metal door in level 11 will lead you to level 98. Finding a cathedral in this level will bring you to level 105. Entering a hotel building labeled Thaphaton City Hotel will lead you to level 171. No clipping through a billboard about a new food store will take you to level 176. Finding a Michia house in the distance and entering it will lead you to level 178. Finding a chain linked fence near some open land will take you to level 205. Walking five miles due east of the MEG base will take you to level 275. Finding a small abandoned area with sand everywhere and a small wooden building will lead you to level 655. Entering a certain clothing store in level 11 will lead you to level 807. I hope you enjoyed the video. Cyrix out.